All right, guys, so, all right, so even though D had, uh, he had a lot of front-end work done to his car, for the life of me, I don't understand why the people didn't change these out. I know, I know it's not a part that you just have in stock a lot of times. You have to order them online, and this here, you know, it was smashed, and I don't know what it what it smashed up against, or how it ended up got getting bent. But you know, the this was loose here, you know, rocking back and forth. So you know, I'm like it's a, it's a sway bar. So um, I know the the reason they probably didn't fix this when they did the front end because they want to get the cars in and out. And yes, you know, ordering certain parts is, is taking me longer to do this job. So I understand why people overlook stuff like this. But when I come in here and I see stuff like this wrong, I'm on, I called D, you know, made sure he wanted me to fix it. He thought it shouldn't be nothing wrong because he had the front end work done. <clears throat> but it wasn't, guys, you know, so... I don't know who did the work for him. I'm not trying to put nobody on blast. But, you know, I ordered up brand new ones offline. And yes, I called Buick Bob, and Buick Bob say he had some, but sometimes you got to think about it, guys. Like, Buick Bob is like 25 minutes away from me, so, you know, I think these was like $12 a piece. Which is expensive, you know, I guess it's expensive, guys, but what you gonna do? And I ordered up two of them, and, it, you know, uh, the rubbers were separate. I think these was like $10 for the pair. So, you're looking at like $25, $30. Bucks. But I, I said, if I just go pick this piece up from Buick Bob, I'm probably gonna have 20 you know, fifteen, ten, fifteen dollars in gas. So I said I'm can get them new. I think I got them from my inline tube. Had them, and uh, you just go on in here while you're in here, guys, and do the guys' cars right. You know, you're gonna work on them, do them right. All right. So anyway, so I got this one on here. So you know, these separate. I can't really film. You know, I ain't got. A tripod that uh, go, you know, this that small, but these just got a split in them right here, and they go around there. Let me come back and show you once I get this thing mounted up. So this is easy fix, guys. It just mounts right into the frame up there. All right, all right, guys. So um, I got to tighten this on down. But the good thing is, I didn't have to take and lose his stabilizer links to get this on here. So, I just got to tighten these down. Now, I got them both on there. This side is tightened down already. I'm going to tighten it a little bit more. But now that sway bar, center link, whatever you want to call it. Now, this sway bar, because this is the center link here. That's center link there, guys. But uh, that sway bar is on there now. I'm going to tighten it on down. I don't know if you remember all of this stuff was all greased up. It was grease everywhere, guys. But she looking good up under here now, guys. Uh, just tighten this on down. Almost done with this one. Uh, just got a little bit more to do here. A little bit more touch-up painting and stuff. But, uh... It's turning out pretty good, guys. All right, so I'm going to throw this carb on here now. All right. So the gasket is still on here. It looks looked really good, so I'm not really concerned about the gasket at all. All right. So that goes, I'm going to just hook everything up now. All 
Alright, so I didn't really do much. Um, I didn't do nothing but just take this carburetor off and I marked all the wires. So everything should go back on here. Alright guys, hey. I got Deuce Boy D uh 73. It's all painted up here now, guys. Uh, and I uh, gotta, I'm gonna fire this baby up. It started already, but I gotta take it out, take it for a test run, and make sure, you know, I got no leaks or nothing so he can get it back up towards Milwaukee safely. So I'm gonna be coming in, firing this baby up. Fired it up yesterday, it ran. Um, I want to take it out, make sure no leaks. So let me fire this baby up, guys. All right. All right, that new power steering pump don't sound good. Let me make sure. It's got power steering fluid in there too. Wow, that's not sounding good though. Because it was quiet before, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it must be, uh... So hopefully this pump is good. Because I showed, you know, to get a full pump and a... A whole pump with the uh, what is it called reservoir? Mm -hmm. Like 170 bucks. Ooh. So this is one I just had laying around for years, and you know to save them some money because it's not it's not the same year. This is for the 70 ones and up, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna need it so. But you know me, I'm always just keeping stuff just in case I ever need it later, you know. So no fuel leaking, if I can get this thing to work right, I'm all right. Pass 
check this one last time. Then I gotta take this thing off. Put test drive. No, it's holding up now. I'll check it after I take it off. All right. All right. All right, guys. Hey, I'm gonna leave the breather off of this for now. And uh. Take this out and take this baby for a ride. finished up here um, set ready to go 73 limited yeah so these have that extra comb at the bottom guys So hey, this is how this turned out in here. Uh, the engine bay, you know, this had a lot of surface rust and stuff on it. It's all good. Got really good uh, wheel wells in here. But I got that all poor 15 painted up. All right, so the engine bay there. We got that all painted up, guys. So. The wires are tucked in there nice and tight the way they're supposed to be. They're not hanging everywhere. Let me show you on this side a little easier to see. Now this one here, I could switch them in. But uh, yeah, the wires are in there looking nice. <clears throat> yes, sir. So I lemma. Um, so yeah, yeah. She looking real nice, guys. Got her all painted up. Looking good. Yes, sir. Fan, blades, everything looking pretty good here, guys. So I got everything nice and tight. Plugged this up uh, since it wasn't being used anyway. I could have... Uh, like I said, but I wasn't trying to get off into a, make this too steep for them. But I guess I could have cut cut a plate this thickness because I got metal, you know, this thickness. I could have 
cut, out me a plate, drilled me a couple of holes, put a new gasket on here, and sealed this up, make it look a lot better. But that don't look bad. Um, I mean, if I would have realized that the lemon, the pump was gonna be eliminated, I would have probably painted this red. But I don't think it looked bad. So you guys, let me know. So I actually painted up his uh, uh, brake booster and master cylinder here. So that's all done up, guys. So I think she turned out pretty good. You know. It's turned out pretty good here, guys. So, yeah, yeah. The 77 Limited. Oh. Cut, cut. Yep, the 73 Limited, like I said. All in here, I got all of this painted. Down the bottom, got more. You know, I just got what I can get to and see, guys. I mean, it's hard getting in there with a brush. Normally when I do this type of stuff, the car is totally tore apart, a lot easier to work with everything, but, you know, I told them before I started, I'm going to just get what I can see, and I kind of went from there. Alright guys, you like these videos, uh, like, share, subscribe, alright. So we come to get this all done up here. Mm-hmm. Have to see what you're thinking. Man, I'm trying to see. Now we're going to pop this hood and see. All right. Well, let me come around this way. <clears throat> pop this hood and see. Okay, I did, bro. Yes, yes, yes. What so you thinking, what my man? About, uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nice and clean. She nice and clean, brother. Hey, I, like I told you, I could only paint what I could get to. I you know it. what I mean? I see it. I, see it. I mean, uh, I normally tear them apart, you mm -hmm. know, but... <clears throat> so, man, I, I did a lot. Like I said, I cut this off. Eliminated where yeah, all uh, this bulky pump. where it won't be all looking bulky and stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and then here I just put a cap on there. Okay. If I would have knew I was gonna do that at first, I would have mm. painted that red, but that That's don't look okay. bad. That no, don't look bad at all. And then um I got one of these I'm gonna give you. I didn't put it on. Mm -hmm. If you ever decide to get your uh the regular one put back on Kaja Jet. No, this is uh, this is for your cruise control. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you ever want to get your cruise control hooked up, I got one of them. I'm gonna just give you. Okay. Then uh, your wires, you know, they was hanging everywhere. I got them where they need to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The power steering pump ain't leaking. Mm -hmm. Hey, start it up and turn the wheel a little bit. Yeah, she looks good, man. Let me, let me, and then you gotta, you gotta. You got to drop one of those skirts and just take a look. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Turn the wheel, look up on the... I don't think you even got to pump it. I never had to pump it. I think you over-pumped it. It's sitting outside. Turn your wheel. Turn your wheel. One way or the other. So you can kind of see up under there. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all painted the uh, everything's painted up under there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The wheel wells. Right. Everything.
things painted right. all up in here. You know, all of this was had rust on it. Yep. I got all of this, you know. All of it. Yeah, all of it. And then look at your brake booster. Yeah, I was looking at that on the video. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I just pour 15 at uh, the gray, you know, but right. it's better than the rust and stuff that yeah. was on it, you yeah. know, so. Pop, now drop one of your skirts real quick, my man. You ain't got to take it off, just drop it down. Okay. My man. Hey, you see the frame cleaned up real good? Yes, sir. All in. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, brother. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. That look good, Rob. Oh, he getting down. Look at him. Yeah. That look good, Rob. All right, my man. That look real good, brother. All right, let me real pause. Good. Let me pause for a minute. I like that, man. Yeah, I so like it's painted up under there. Yeah, I like that. Like I said, as much as I could get to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you told me that when you when you when you started. Right, right. Whatever you can get to. So All right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. My man. I'm real happy with it, brother. All right, all right. Yeah, you did your thing, Rob. All right. Hey, but you know what is to be expected? I knew it was going to turn out like this in the first place. <laughs> like I said, you pay attention to things, man. I pay attention to what you do online, on YouTube, all that good stuff. So I knew it was going to be done right. Right, right. I wasn't worried about it. Yeah. And you actually did more than, you know, we expected, you know? Yeah, yeah. Since I was in there, you know, like, you know, just little stuff you yeah. might not even... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, your uh, AC pump, I painted as much as that as I could get to, just get everything black. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I had to cut this off. Okay, we, cut, you think cut. that's going to hold? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should. It should. This piece is right here, though. With that big one that did? The one that I cut off. Okay. But, uh, no, nah, it should hold. It should hold, you know. Right. Because the other side, it, it ain't pressure. Mm -hmm. It ain't no pressure with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So Yeah, that's a pressure hose there, right? <clears throat> well, it's the ejector hose. They don't really sell the old style hose no mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. If they did, I could have went over that because, see, these got a lining. Because mm -hmm. let's put it this way. Let me pause.